but people don't realize it. So, um, uh, deceit, lying. The mother knew the men, um, not as close friends or that, but everybody there knew the men. And they were more transient. They, they got jobs uh, when and where they can. And they were hired to, hired to do some handyman work around there. They were dirty. They're not healthy, dirty, druggy, alcohol. The one man has lighter hair, blonde, scruffy, bad teeth. And he's, he, he's thin, very thin. And he's very sick. And he doesn't know it yet at that time. He didn't know it yet, but he's very sick. He's like a sociopath. You know, he does whatever he can to get his drugs, to, to manipulate people. He's a liar. The other fellow who's with him is dark. I see him more as Hispanic or something of that nature, darker skin. Big brown eyes, dark hair. Um, I see him with a jean jacket, though, and a t-shirt, a regular t-shirt. But I see this other guy, and he's outside the cabin, and I'm getting chills on this one. I don't like this one. Um, he's in a red flannel shirt with the black lines going through. And he has a name, and the initial is R. I can't quite get the whole name. And he's he's just watching. It's almost like it was a setup. And he's watching. He didn't want to get totally involved in it, but he he had them do this. 